Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be making Szechuan noodles um, with mushrooms. And I will tell you how to make it if you wanna do the beef version, but I just wanna put out there, I'm a white girl. So this is not an authentic Chinese Szechuan recipe. Just gonna put that out there. This is not, so nobody come for me that this isn't authentic or how people do it because It's not authentic. I, I just don't know what else to say. But anyway, it still tastes good. All right, so what we're gonna do is get some cremini mushrooms and we're gonna cube them up, cut them up into wedges, whatever you wanna call them. I did some slices and then I did like quarters, whatever. Put that in a bowl. And this is half of this box that you get at the grocery store. I did half of them. And then I got this box, which was 0.4 pounds, so like a quarter of a pound of shiitakes I got here too. I'm gonna put this in a bowl. This is a very fast recipe, by the way. Then we're gonna get some soy sauce and I'm gonna do a tablespoon of soy sauce. And I am going to do, shake this hoisin up. I got hoisin and I'm gonna do um, a fourth of a cup. So one tablespoon, two, three, four. Four tablespoons equals a fourth of a cup, if you didn't know. Now you know. And then what else? Sweet soy glaze. Two tablespoons of this sweet soy glaze. I found this at the grocery store, but there's three grocery stores by my house and only one of them had it, but it was a big chain grocery store. So if you can't find it, look on Amazon. Amazon has everything, right? Sweet soy glaze. Boop, boop, boop. And then I got a third of a cup of vegetable broth. Now, if you're doing this the beef way, you know what? I'm not even going to tell you how to do this beef way because it is different. I thought it was the same, but it's not because I'm marinating the mushrooms. Okay, so... I made this whole video yesterday and it was just horrible. Like I was trying to do too much and I was trying to like break up the recipe so I could feed my husband later in the day. And it was just very confusing how I filmed this video yesterday. So here I am, my second batch. And it was delicious yesterday. Don't get me wrong, but I had this idea. Do you ever have like recipes that are good and then you eat them and then something just comes to you and you have to like tweak your own recipes? This recipe would have been a million times better if I would have marinated or soaked the mushrooms in the sauce. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna let these mushrooms sit in this nice, delicious sauce for a little bit, not too long. And while that is marinating, I do have a pot of boiling salted water on the stove because we are gonna drop some udon noodles for this dish. While the mushrooms are marinating, I am going to start the onions. So in a pan, I got sesame oil. I did about a teaspoon of sesame oil. And this is a quarter cup, not a quarter cup, a quarter of a large yellow onion diced up. Like a finer dice, not like a chunky dice, like a fine dice. And then I also have five ounces of carrots or one carrot shredded. You could already buy these shredded at the grocery store. If you want, I cut up my own, so I got really cool ones. I got orange, orange. I got yellow and a purple guy in there. And then I also have five ounces of shredded red cabbage. And this just looks so pretty right now with this purple and yellow. It looks like the Lakers. 
Lakers fans, make this dish. All right, so that's in there and I'm just going to swirl it around and add a little pinch of salt. And we're gonna soften, soften these vegetables up. I have this at a medium heat. If I wasn't using this pan I'm using right now, I'd probably cook this at a medium high heat. But, so I bought these uh, R Place pans and you could only cook them, it's only recommended to use medium heat at the highest. So, anyways, I'm going to just let this get a little soft. Now that the vegetables are nice and soft, I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic and about, I feel like this is a lot of ginger, a teaspoon of ginger. I'm only gonna use half of that. I have like a whole bunch in here already chopped up and that's gonna be minced. And we're just gonna cook this real quick for about a minute, stir it around. This smells so good. Like once you hit a pan with ginger and garlic, it just smells amazing. And then I got my water about to be boiling. Now I'm going to add all of my marinated mushrooms to the pan. Give that a stir around. I am putting in my udon noodles. A lot of people also use vermicelli for this. I'm using udon. I also have this Szechuan paste here. I found this at my local Asian grocery store. I couldn't find it at a regular grocery store. I am so sorry, lo siento, but um, probably have it online. Again, I'm sorry, but like once you buy it, it was in a giant can and then I just saved them in these little jars and froze them. So once you buy it, Wolfie, please. Once you buy it, you don't have to buy it again for a while because now like, you're gonna use the whole damn can. Maybe you will, I don't know what you're doing with it, but I'm putting two tablespoons of Szechuan paste in there. Pasta, pasta. Noodles are done. I'm just gonna pour like the tiniest little amount of pasta water in there and dump it on up. And then throw it right in there. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And I'm just gonna give this a nice little toss around in the sauce. Now, I honestly would make two batches of the noodles, like two of those things that I made instead of just one. But this is gonna be good. Smells delightful, time to plate. So here is the finished product. It's just a quick, easy, if you're in the mood for like a soy sauce, noodly flavored dish with some veggies, and something different if you're plant-based and all. It's hard to find like really good plant-based recipes. I threw some uh, scallions on there and now I'm gonna throw um, some white sesame seeds. It'd be better if I toasted them, but I didn't do it. And that is all she wrote. It looks beautiful. Mmm, so good. Should I try it? Let me see if it's better than it was yesterday. Marin what are you doing? Okay. Let's try if this is better than it was yesterday because I marinated the mushrooms this time. Look at that. Mmm. So much better. Mm. So um, 
Okay. I do have to put a disclaimer if you've made it this far in the video and are going to make this. Two tablespoons of Szechuan paste is a little spicy. So if you don't like the spice, I would put one tablespoon. But this is really good. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.